Um, I try to hit every single side. Like I try to do a pose on a couple poses this way, a couple poses on the front, the rear. If you can hold a pose for 30 seconds, that's good. If you can hold a, a pose for a minute, that's fantastic. And so that all season after the Olympia, I practiced all throughout the all season to figure it out. Uh, <laughs> I didn't realize he wanted to do mixed deep posing. Okay. So we're gonna do a little bit of that first, and then we'll, he still wants to do plastic, so we can get that on. on okay. The I'm Jesse. Uh, this is gonna be my first uh, show. So my first show got canceled three weeks out, and I'm about ten weeks out from my first show right now. How long have you guys been working together? This is the first time. Oh, you guys just first met. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. It's his birthday, by the way. Happy, so happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Very he cool. um, came down from New Jersey to uh, to get away from the the sadness of no gym. So. <laughs> so. Escape from the Rona. The yeah. Rona. The Rona. <laughs> Running from the Rona. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna pose out in the open today. It's not many people here. Um, we'll get some posing started, and uh, you guys get your your pens and paper ready. We're gonna learn a lot today. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is I want to kind of see you go through a run through of Mint Z, uh, just to see where you're at, like level wise, and then from there we'll add certain things in. Okay. All right. All right. So uh, we'll start from the side there. You kind of walk out. Setting that pose and practicing and feeling that uh, muscle working. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, so um, with men, men, the thing I tell people a lot of times with posing, whether it's bodybuilding, men's physique, figure, whatever, I say the only one that, that's a little, that may be a little different is bikini, but even bikini has some similarities. There's some basic principles that apply to every single class. Um, muscles work the same no matter what, so it's pretty much the same way. If I want someone's last to show more, it's, it doesn't change whether it's bodybuilding or men's physique. Um, even a lot of the footwork is the same. I, a lot of my footwork 
that I've done, I've, I've kind of made it from um, a mixture of my physique and my um, time in the military with the quarter turns there. A lot of the, quarter, a lot of the um, transitional poses are quite similar too from bodybuilding to menstrual disease. So people always want this black and white, this or that type deal, but a lot of times there's things we can um, benefit from by paying attention to whatever category it may be. So that is my tip for the day. Uh, <laughs> I may have a couple more gems, but if I don't, just, just catalog this one here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's start, walk on again and kind of, kind of, Thing. Uh -huh. Go back to your back pose and, and then transition from now. No, the one before this one actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then go to your next shot. So a way you can kind of make that smoother is kind of make that into two, two steps instead of just one. Okay. So uh, you were right here? Yeah. So you're here. You'll just turn. She'll like your back. So you can do like, or your arm, whatever you think is better. Oh, you're both, yeah, right there is perfect. Perfect, so boom, boom. And then what you'll do is you'll put your weight on this foot, come back, oh, yeah, and be right there. Kind of, okay. And you kind of like, you need to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, yeah. That way you get a little bit of extra in there too. Mm -hmm. Depending on the show, on the size of the show a lot of times, and depending on the show in general, you may have more or less time to do certain things on stage. Typically with bigger shows, when they're like, let's say at Nationals, they want you to do very little on stage because they, they're trying to get through people because they got like another thousand people to look at throughout that day. Um, but at smaller shows, they typically give people a little bit more time to do things, a little bit more um, stage time. So we can do a few extra poses here and there. Um, so that's the thing I would tell people to think about. So when you're doing your a national show, find those, you know, three or four poses that look fantastic. You know, if something doesn't quite look great, it looks okay, maybe cut it out. Um, you wanna just show them as little weaknesses as possible and just your best things because like I said, um, if, you, if you go out and wild them in that first pose and you do maybe two, three more that look great, then they're, they're gonna remember you. But if you start to fade off, then they're like, ah, uh, you know, he wasn't as good as I thought. Um, so that's definitely a great, and you can still use that at a smaller show if you really want. But if you want to take advantage of the stage time you have, enjoy the show, you know, it may be your first show or whatever, you just want to be on stage, you know, enjoy the time, then do a couple more poses, enjoy it. You know, there's nothing wrong with that either. Um, just pay attention and be uh, mindful of um, who you're presenting in front of and the, the, uh, the amount of people that are going to be there. Awesome, man. Yeah, let's try some classic poses. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm trying to see what I look like doing. So, do you know any classic deep poses? Alright, cool. This is going to be awesome. This is exactly <laughs> why I came to you. I don't want any bad habits. <laughs> Alright, so the, to start, you walk on stage. First quarter turn is your front relax. So, feet are about, about um, shoulder width apart. If your leg, for people who have smaller legs, I like for the leg to be touching. Okay. The inner thigh. Um, all right, feet are, yeah, feet are good, 10 and 2. Um, think that the, every single pose you want to do is from the, the ground up. So okay. your legs first, then everything else. So when I think of, when I'm doing flexing my legs and everything, I think about there being like a screw in my heel, and I'm trying to twist it. So that's kind of how I flex everything. Awesome, awesome. All right, from there, chest up. Last out. For my people who have issues, um, a lot of people that have issues, you're, you're fine, but people who have issues with their lats, relax for a second. I would, I, this is a little trick I have for them just to see how much lat they actually have. I have them like bring it all the way, stretch it out, and then bring your arms like just out like that. And that's kind of how I show people how to, what, like, kind of get into it. You shouldn't do that on stage, but that's the way to kind of do it when you're first getting started. So, <laughs> cool. All right, so the next pose for you is going to be your uh, side relax. So cool thing is, man, physique, this should be somewhat easier for you to do. So you're just going to pivot, 
like that. Take a step forward and yeah. boom. So like now you guys can see the similarity. Like they have some physique they're kind of doing like this. Only difference is foot, arm, slightly different. Cool. So for you, you want to turn a little bit more. Yeah, so we get a little bit more of a V there. That's perfect. Um, keep your hips this way. Boom, perfect. Remember, you want to push those hips that way while also keeping this tight, like I showed you. Boom, right there. Also keep your shoulders level. Boom, right about there. And don't cover the abs, so right about there. Keep that chest tight. Boom. All right, quarter turn to the right. So the next one is gonna be one foot back, pivot. So when you're doing this too, um, go back. One thing I forgot to mention is having your feet completely together here. All the way together. Look at my feet. It's all the way boom. What that'll often do is give you a little bit more hamstring. It's because you're pushing the meat of those inner thighs and they gotta go somewhere. Alright, cool. Alright. So from there, you're gonna put one that right foot back. The reason I noticed he didn't do that is because when he turns, his feet run you. That's that you have to have your feet pretty close together for the end up in the, in the perfect uh, proper position. So we're here now. Um, you already know this move, basically. So that side, uh, the only the only difference for you is gonna be actually it's just gonna be out. So no, yeah, there. Only difference is you gotta pay attention to your legs here as opposed to man physique. So I want you to bend your knees slightly here. That'll give you a little bit more control over your hamstrings. And also, um, turn your knees out slightly so you can hit the hush. Boom, well, perfect, perfect. Awesome, and relax. I will say to a lot of guys, um, I see y'all. Uh, a lot, even with pros, I see it. They have trouble flexing that upper quad there. Their uh, rectus femoris is the actual muscle if you wanna look it up. The best way to kind of make that a little bit easier is to kind of push your hips back. Uh, and if you wanna go, I'll go into the science of it real quick. Uh, Cause all, every, all opposing ears is muscle contractions. A stretched muscle is very hard to contract. And the easy way if you're sitting at home now, you wanna see, oh, what does he mean by that? Bend your arm like this and try flexing your tricep and then do this and try flexing your triceps. It's a lot easier here. So stretching them, every, every single muscle you do, you do your chest like this, it's hard, to, it's hard to flex. You do it like this, it's easy. Same thing with your legs. A lot of people don't apply that to your legs. So when your hips are forward or you're, you're anything like this, it's very hard to flex that rectus and that upper thigh. Um, so that's why I tell people to push it back um, to, to flex it. And the same way you actually train that rectus for more is when we're in the gym, we're doing uh, leg, leg extensions you're very much bent at the hip to flex that muscle completely, right? So um, same thing applies when we're doing um, things like this. And if you wanna become like a posing pro, then you gotta learn how muscles work. That's the best way to, to get, you know, it also takes a bit of artwork to learn how to, how to stand and how to tweak things, but actually to flex those muscles, you need to understand how those muscles function. So uh, that's a quick tip for that, that upper thigh muscle, because I see that's one of the biggest things that see people mess up on. <laughs> so cool a couple things to kind of think of um, this is definitely his first time going about it so he's definitely a little bit more winded than uh, than what he should be which is totally fine for his first time um, if this is not your first time posing and you're similar to him you should probably start practicing a lot more uh, definitely the more you practice people always ask me how much should they practice this or that there's no wrong answer to how there's no right or wrong answer um, if you got time to practice and you need to get better than practice um, as simple as that. Uh, but I will say the amount of time you can hold a pose, the way I kind of go about holding poses and getting um, a little bit more conditioned in the posing arena would be to start, you can start it whatever you want. If you started holding a pose for three seconds, that's totally fine. It doesn't matter where you start. 
the important thing is from um, week to week, add a couple seconds, whether it's another three seconds, another five seconds, if you're feeling good, another 10 seconds from there. And I think a great point um, to, if you can hold a pose for 30 seconds, that's good. If you can hold a, a pose for a minute, that's fantastic. Um, the thing is also is when you're getting ready for a show, you wanna be able to do more than what's required. So for whatever reason, you, you decide to do some extra research into the show and you're saying, okay, they typically have people holding poses for about, let's say 30 seconds. You don't wanna just do 30 seconds. Because one, you're gonna be fatigued, you're gonna be tired, the lights are bright, you're nervous. It's not gonna be the same. You wanna be able to do, hold a pose for at least 45 seconds to a minute. Because that way it looks, you look confident while holding each pose. You know, if you're tired, it's very hard to look confident. <laughs> if you're dying, it's very difficult. So you definitely want to be calm, cool, and collected. And the only way you can do that is by being able to do way more than what's required. Um, so those are a couple of tips for the day. Um, if you guys have any questions, you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know. And um, until next time, peace.